I assume so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to repeat it. I assume so, but <laughs> if you want to If you know, they can answer. Yeah. Say. Anyway, um, well, quite simple. First of all, I'm an Israeli, so I'm more interested by the wrongdoings of my own government. You personally. And, and uh, yeah, I, I'm interested in that. You know, I served, I still serve in the IDF. I'm a captain in the IDF. I, I go to the West Bank and I see what's going on there. And that's something that bothers me deeply. Whereas, you know, and these are the actions of my own government. I can influence them. I have to carry them out myself. This is something that bothers me deeply. And the fact that Palestinians create injustice to others, it is tragic, but it is their own issue. And, and, but the bottom line is this, you don't put, you know, you don't step on someone's head and tell him he should shave at the same time. You know, you don't, you don't tell him he should get it. Be, be, you know, be, talk nicer. Israel can talk about Palestinian human rights as much as it wants, but in that sense, in the sense you brought. But as long as it, it's done within the context of the occupation, it's just PR. Well, the Palestinians, yeah, go. I have, okay, a okay, I, don't know, I have a different answer, I think, uh, or different explanation. Did you hear about the term, don't confront me with facts? <laughs> which means, I don't want to be confused with facts. Which means, there are certain people, and I'm not talking about a, a, a norm, there are certain people, when they have, when they have on their agenda, this term human rights, they are blind. They only perceive the world through black and white. There is an organization, Queers for Palestine. This organization is fighting the, the, the war of the Palestinians for independence. Do they think these queer, these queer people, what will happen if they just enter the Palestinian Authority? Did they, did they pay attention to this fact that queers cannot live in Palestine? <coughs> I, I think, I, I, you know, First I don't know the if they media know, does, know. does write about these issues. Not enough. And, and, Not and enough. I got I to gotta, I gotta be very, you know, clear about this. As Israelis, as people who support Israel, yeah, David... Probably, you're right if you said I'm talking about Noam in this sense. I don't want to be involved in, in, in the internal questions of Palestinians as long as we are the occupying force. It's, I think <coughs> it's the basic moral position. You don't take someone's entire political right and then criticize its society for not being too liberal. Their problems, they can't be liberal because they can't travel they can't, uh, uh, they don't have freedom of speech. And Imposed by you. I'm sorry? Imposed by you. Uh, because Gaza, of Israel. In Gaza, who's imposing? They, they can't travel, they don't have, they can't travel they outside Gaza. Gaza. The, the, the thing is this. They can't study. The, the, the people from Gaza who study in Birzeit University near Ramallah can, can't, go to, can't go to school because Israel wouldn't allow them. It only allows a few dozen of people on emergency medical cases, and I'm, I get the sense that it does, does it for PR purposes. And, 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 and this is something that I feel that it's a moral issue for me, not to tell people how to behave when you're the one who's causing the, the, the greatest problem they confront. It's not a good example, but I'll give it anyway. How would you feel in the, in the pre-Civil War South, if a white family would, would, uh, would um, uh, uh, question the norms or, or, the, or the way a black family acts or, or whatever, any societies that are involved in such a conflict where one 
take the liberties of the other, it's really questionable if this society can at the same time lecture to the other, you know, you gotta be nicer to your women. Yes. Um, I wanted to ask about watch, media watchdog organizations. 